Hello guys, welcome back to 3D. This video is going to be on exporting a 3D model from Blender and importing it into Spline. Before getting started, I want to introduce you to Heads.Design. It's a one-stop shop created by 3D Design Team, where you can find a collection of rigged heads. It's an alternative to Apple's Memoji. This animated collection will make your 3D scenes full of wonders. Alright, so let's begin with the video. First, open your Blender project with the character you want to export. Here I'm using a pre-animated model from Heads. Then, make sure all the meshes you want to export are visible, including the bones. Next, select all the desired bones and meshes. Once you have everything selected, go to the File menu, choose Export and then select Dots FBX. In the Export settings, under Include, make sure to check selected objects in the Limit to section. For the object types, select Armature and Mesh. Lastly, make sure the back animation is unchecked. After tweaking the desired settings, set the file location and name and select Export FBX. Now open Spline and import the file we just exported. You can do this by pressing Ctrl plus O, selecting 3D model and choosing the exported file. After importing, you'll need to set up the materials, camera and lighting to suit your project. In Spline, let's tweak some settings for a better appearance. As you can see, the textures of the model are missing. To bring them, create material assets for the object's components, like for hairs, skin, accessories, and so on. Here, I'm creating five materials for the subject, and I recommend trying the hex color code from Blender's Node Editor for a perfect color match. Once you're done creating materials, simply assign the materials to the subject's part individually. You can also try copying the materials from one component to another. After assigning all the relevant materials for the components, you will end up with the perfect textured model. Lastly, look for DEFIL in the Objects menu. Now add a look at events. In the event settings, set the target as cursor, plane distance to 300 and direction to Y. Now do the same for DEFIR, simply copy the events from DEFIL and paste them to DEFIR. Now when you play the scene, the eyes will follow the cursor movement in all directions. Back in Blender, let's add some poses to the model. Here, I'm going to use some pre-built poses from a heads model. To export an animation, first select the action where your animation is located and make sure all the bones are visible. Now, go to the pose menu and under the animation tab, select back action. Make sure only selected bones is checked. Then press OK. Once you're done, switch back to object mode, select all the bones and export as FBX. This time under the include section, check limit to selected objects and select armature as the object type. Then check bake animation, uncheck all actions, set the file name and location and export as FBX. Back in Spline, add an animation for the character. Select the file we just exported. Next, add Start as the new event, Animation as the new action, and assign the animation we just exported. And that's it. You've successfully exported a character from Blender to Spline and set up basic interactivity and animation. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and giving it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Heads by 3D Design. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.